Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our, Our lesson for today is all about introduction to set, such as universal sets, null set, and cardinality of sets. This is part 2. I already uploaded part 1, which is all about well-defined sets and subsets. I will put the link of part 1 in the description box below. Okay, let's discuss about universal set. What do you mean by universal set? Yes, you are right. The universal set is the set that has all the elements or members of all related sets known as subsets. It is usually denoted by the symbol E or U. Let us consider this example in the Venn diagram. Then, give the elements of subsets A and B and also the universal set. Alright, what are the elements of subset A? Yes, the elements of subset A. A are 1, 2, and 4. How about subset B? Yes, the elements of subset B are 2 and 6. So, can you name the elements of the universal set? Alright, the elements in our universal sets are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, a universal set can be either a finite or infinite set. This is an example of an infinite set, a set of natural numbers. What do you mean by natural numbers? Alright, natural numbers are numbers used for counting and ordering that begin with 1 and increase by 1 each time. If set A is a set of natural numbers, then the elements of set A are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. This ellipsis mark denotes that the set goes on without an end. So this is an example of a finite set. A set of composite numbers greater than 20 but less than 30. What do you mean by composite numbers? Alright, composite numbers, these are numbers having more than two factors. If set B is a set of composite numbers greater than 20 but less than 30, then the elements of set B are 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Okay, let's try this example. Find the universal set given the three sets below. Alright, what is the universal set? Yes, you are right. The universal set is 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 18, and 19. These are from subsets A, B, and C. Yes, we already know about universal set. Next, we're going to discuss about null set. What is a null set? Yes, an empty set or null set is a set without any elements has to be represented. The empty set is denoted by this symbol. Empty sets are used to simplify the calculations and are most often used while classifying all the odd items or those items that are considered to be rare. Okay, let's study the following examples. Let us consider this example. Set X is a set of prime numbers between 24 and 26. Is it possible to have a prime number 
in between 24 and 26? All right. Since there are no prime numbers in between 24 and 26, we can conclude that set X is an empty set. Another example. Set B is a set of multiples of 10 in between 1 to 9. Is there a multiple of 10 in between 1 to 9? Alright, since there are no multiples of 10 in between 1 to 9, we can conclude that set B is an empty set. Next, we're going to discuss about cardinality of set. What do you mean by cardinality of set? Yes, the cardinality of a set is a measure of a set size, meaning the number of elements in the set. It is denoted by the modulus sign on both sides of the set name. Let A be a set. If A is a null set or an empty set, then the cardinality of set A is 0. If A has exactly n elements and a natural number or a counting number, then the cardinality of A is n. The set A is a finite set. Otherwise, A is an infinite set. Okay, let's study some examples about cardinality of set. So, first example, if set A is a set of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, then the cardinality of set A is equal to 5 because there are 5 elements of set A. Next, if set C is a set of natural numbers from 1 to 10, then the cardinality of set C is equal to 10. Another example. If set M is a set of numbers from 2 to 20, then the cardinality of set M is equal to 10. Last example. If set Y is a set of prime numbers in between 25 and 27, then the cardinality of set Y is 0, or this is a null set.